Hello students. Today I am going to discuss with you a graph which has been seen in the past in the academic IELTS writing test. Uh, this graph is a line graph and uh, there are two countries which are shown and uh, there are uh, the line graph below shows the land used for organic crops in two countries between 1985 and 2010 summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant so this is the graph you can see on the x-axis we have the years and on the y-axis we have uh, these units in thousand hectares so thousand hectares means that if you write hundred you have to add three more zeros to it or write the word thousand and then hectares these are the units and uh, this dashed line is for country A and the solid line is for country B. So you can see from 1985 to 1995 the land used in country B is more and uh, but the growth is there in both the countries till the year 2000 but after that the land used uh, for organic farming falls in both the countries. So by uh, looking at this much you can make an overview and uh, then we'll, we'll try writing this graph now. Uh, this is uh, my sample answer. This graph is there at, at number 100 in my book 2019 edition which has the graphs from the past uh, IELTS exams and uh, you can see um, uh, you have to write the introduction from the given statement. The given line graph compares the land used for organic farming in two countries from 1985 to 2010. The comma should be before the from. Okay, so now you see the question. The line graph below, the word below is not there in your answer sheet. So you have to say the given line graph. Instead of shows, you, have, you can write compares because there are only two countries in which you have to compare so you can uh, use the word compares or you can also use the word illustrates the land used for organic crops the land used for organic farming in two countries between uh, between uh, 1985 and 2010 here, here I have done from 1985 to 2010 so when you write the word from you match it with the word to so from to combination is there and the other combination in which you can write is between and as is there in the question you can see. So I have made the introductory statement by just uh, uh, you know putting synonyms for uh, one or two words and then I have changed the I have written the word given instead of below. Now, now uh, overview comes overview is the uh, you know the gist of the graph and in this overview, I suggest my students not to put any data. Of course, years can be put in that and the paragraph for the overview starts with the word overall. Overall, it is clear that from 1985 to 2000, you can see from 1985 to 2000, this is 2000. Uh, the land allocated for organic farming grew in both countries but after that there was a decrease in the land used so see this this is a general trend the land used for organic farming grew allocated or uh, used for organic farming grew in both countries you can see this is a growth but after that there was a fall there was a decrease in the land used from 1985 to 1995 you can see from 1985 to 1995 country b used more land than country a for organic farming but after 1995 country A superseded country B in organic farming. So till 1995 country B used more land than country A. You can see this line is so this is more the this country used more land than country A for organic farming but after 1995 country A superseded supersede means to leave behind it superseded country B in organic farming in organic farming so this is the uh, overview you can see there is no data i have just put two two sorts of main things which are there of comparison and trends in the uh, in the uh, overall okay next is uh, now the main paragraph in 1985 both countries used approximately 25,000 hectares of land each for organic farming. 
so you can see this is approximately 25000 hectares 1000 is very important both countries use 25000 hectares okay uh, by 1995, the land used for organic farming grew nearly uh, by, grew nearly to 150,000 hectares in both countries. So here you can see by 1995, so this is a growth and by 1995, see this is about 160 and this is about 140. So I've written nearly two, nearly 250 thousand hectares in both countries so the land used for organic farming grew nearly 250,000 hectares in both countries um, but the growth was more marked in country B than country A but you can see the growth was more in country B than in country A the country line B, A line is always uh, below the line which has been drawn for country B so country B uh, uh, but country B but the growth was more marked in country B than country A. After 1995 the figure for country A conti continued to grow and reached a peak of 280,000 hectares. So after 1995 this is 1995 the figure for country A the figure of the land use you can use this word figure for con country A continued to grow and it peaked at you can see this is a peak it peaked at 280,000 hectares uh, by 2000. It reached a peak of 280,000 hectares. The country B showed only a slight increase in the land used for organic farming uh, till the year 2000 by 2000 by the year 2000 or by 2000. The country B showed only a slight increase in the land used for organic farming. However, uh, after 2000, however, both countries showed a minimal decrease in organic farming. So after 2000, both countries showed a minimal, this is slight or minimal decrease in organic farming. So decrease word we have used uh, earlier. I would like to change this word and instead of writing decrease I will write um, a minimal fall from 2005 to 2010 the decreasing trend continued in both countries but the fall was more pronounced uh, in country A and the arable land for organic crops fell to 150,000 hectares each in both countries so from 2005 to 2000 uh, 10 the fall uh, continued to be there but it was more pronounced in country A than country B and by 2010 uh, both countries were doing organic farming in 150,000 hectares so uh, fell to 150,000 hectares in both countries so here now fall word has come twice so there was a minimal uh, you can say uh, decrease fall um, there was a minimal drop in organic farming showed a minimal drop so decrease fall drop these are nouns I have used the adjective noun combination minimal is adjective drop is noun so this is uh, my graph I hope you have uh, understood it and liked it I have started uh, putting the overview just after the introductory line this uh, this uh, word count for this graph has gone gone to nearly uh, it has gone to nearly let me see um, 196 words uh, which is slightly more than I would have liked but still it is less than 200 I'm okay with it uh, sometimes because the changes are marked and you have to mention them so it has gone to this much uh, ideally it should be around 180 uh, 170 180 words but it's slightly more than that that's okay you'll be able to write this much in about 15 minutes if you can just plan your writing and the advantage of putting the overview here is that you know that you have put the um, uh, comparisons and the trends here and these are very important to get good band score in the IELTS writing 
task one specially so i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, you will be able to write this graph thank you